What's going on, guys? I'm straight. <laughs> I can't do that, seriously. Hey, hey. <laughs> hey, guys, how's it going? I'm Streezer. I'm here with Cyplex Prime again. Sup? And today we're we're doing a video talking about them, the costumes of, in this video, 1A for My Hero Academia. And we're going to be um, comparing, contrasting, seeing whether or not we think it's a good or a bad costume and what yeah. we reckon could be improved. Yeah, so I do have a small rules thing here. Yeah, just, oh, yeah. Do, do they it, look uh, good? They're pretty self-explanatory because if the costume looks terrible, then it's terrible. Yeah, exactly. Also, a practicability thing because if the co uh, costume isn't practical, then it's not really doing its job. And the last one's quite subjective: is do they look like heroes? Because let's get something straight: because the costume is their uniform, so they're like the police. The costume is their uniform. If their costume looks too civilian then it's going to be too difficult for in an emergency it's going to be too difficult for someone to recognize them as a hero thus yeah their exactly. is then failing the job agreed that it's right. it's a uniform they need to look the part now i do yeah. have them in, i do have, have mm -hmm. them all in seating order because it's just one a uh, no teachers in this video that would be a different one understandable yeah, all these rules are, are what we'll probably be following throughout when we do more of this sort of video and that. And um, it, specifically, yeah. my hero, since they're like a police force, it the rules may differ in different in other series if we do it in about different shows. Fair enough. All right, That's, let's get into it. Then. So the first person in the seating order is Aoyama. Aoyama. I gotta say, it's actually mm. pretty good. I would say so, yeah, when you argue practicality, as we see in later seasons, the other um, pads on his armor are good for lasers and uh, actually can fire lasers in other directions and stuff like that yep. than just using his belly button. Yep. So it actually works out very well as an assisting item, and he's not also overly reliant on his support gear. That it, which is very no, good actually, he, he does kind of need it but that's because of a deformity okay. he, he needs his belt but other than yeah. that like the quirk still functions without the belt it's and just I'm he assume, needs it for i'm the assuming belt. that the metal there is just gonna act like actual armor as well that's true that's something that i actually have a gripe with in a lot of suits cases where they could easily be a lot more protective than they actually are yeah especially for people who don't have um toughness based quirks yeah and does he look like a hero? I'd have to argue, yes. yeah, yeah. If I saw that, I would think, yeah, that's a hero. Yeah, that, I, that I can go to for help. All right, next on our list is Mina. For practicality's sake, her, her shoes are good because they do actually give the gaps for her to um, screw her up from. Yeah, I'd say it's decently practical. True. Sure. The view of the costume, uh, it's fine. I mean, she does kind of yeah. look like a hero, but I think that's really the mask is doing most of the work there. Remove the mask, kind probably of... say she's a fashion model. Actually, I guess it's a fair point. Like, you, but um, I don't know. I actually, I think it, I think it's fine. Hero, hero fashion wise, like uh, it, the thing is, due to her quirk in that, I can't really see many improvement. No. Yeah, that, that's the thing. Yeah, I was yeah. going to offer, like, can you think of, like, how could she improve that? Exactly. It's like, it, it seems, it it doesn't seem, like, majorly heroic, but you can still tell that they're, that they're probably a hero from a distance just by her appearance, really. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there's not, uh, not much she can do, mate. Awesome yeah. Next up. Uh, right, this is the winter version of her costume. Oh, yeah. Um, I reckon, personally, with the winter version, at least because... Obviously, the winter versions need to be warmer. Yeah. She could have just, she could have also yeah, had just longer sleeves. It's just a different jacket. Like, if I if I go back, you can see there's sleeves. Yeah. That one doesn't have sleeves. This one does. It also, he's got proper fur thing. Like, that's just for winter stuff. I, so I yeah, also I specified, we'll be going through every version of the costume they've got in, in 1A. The reason why there's only one Aoyama is because, as far as I know, his costume doesn't change. Exactly, but um, also Mina, like again with the wind hole thing, like since she only really uses the asset in um through her hands and her feet, not really anywhere else. She probably, so consequently, having a longer, having like sleeves that are at least up to elbow length won't hurt. Yeah, and I don't understand the window either. 
course you don't. Um, <laughs> like I said, more of a fashion anyway. model than a hero costume. I'll, 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 I'll actually, I'll, to point to point that out, actually, Sai, um, mm. it the window there sort of thing is is um, fan appeal because um, female heroes need to look like female heroes um, looking more attractive helps with fan appeal, and that's what I'm pretty sure that's about. Or also, it can be a little bit distracting against perps, I guess, but. Again, that's I mean, also a weakness in the costume because then, by the looks of it, it's just fabric. It's not really going to protect you. Yeah, true. But then again, with her quirk, it's like it's yeah, acid. You, you're not yeah, really you could get away with it. All right, next yeah, on the list, we got Sue. I'd say this looks Ooh. fine. Good costume. Yeah, it looks fine. Good costume. Considering her quirk is her mutation, there's not really a whole lot. Um, like you can do in regards to a, to a hero costume that help. Yeah, I do. Maybe wonder that, like I do wonder the, sorry, the thing yeah. on her head there. Like, he, are those goggles she can actually wear? It doesn't actually look like it. No, I've never, a, we've never seen. There could be like binoculars in that. True. I reckon that's something that like if it doesn't, if it isn't already like that, like like binoculars, night vision sort of deal. That's yeah. what they could they could implement in that headpiece. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say it's decently practical. I'd say it's very decently practical. Looks very hero-like. Not much I would change. But there, there is like the yeah. puffy sleeves. You'll see that a lot of the heroes have that. They've got like these big like wrist things. I don't understand the yeah. practicality on Sue here, uh, but actually for Sue, I would say that's highly that's um, a gripe against her costume is how impractical those would be. Yeah. Because bear in mind, Sue is primarily a swimmer. Yeah, that's and true. it's not like there's blood with support gear. So mm. I reckon, like the only real change that I could say you you put on Sue's costume is to remove the very thick wrist parts of her costume. Like you could probably keep that and, ex- like a bit thicker, just not to that extent. Now, yeah, it, it, it doesn't does get quite egregious that. later on, but yeah, but it's just too big right now. But yep. yeah, generally good costume. Next we have mm. Ida. Does it look like a hero? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You see that? That's instantly recognizable as a hero. I'm going to assume that's big armor plate, so it's quite protective. So in that way, it's practical. But does it help him with maneuverability? Because I would say, okay, here's a couple arguments for it. Right. Hmm. The, the problem is, whilst it is meant to be an armor, it is shown to not be very strong. We see this in the Stain fight. Yeah. <clears throat> yes. Yeah, where um, his ni- Stain where Stain's knife is going straight through the armor. So it's lightweight. But again, yeah. it could so be just, weak, it, it could be just weak against knives. Like it could be like a Kevlar thing, where it can stop a bullet, but a knife can tear straight through it. That is true. It could be that. Also, there's also the um, extra pipes on our on his torso. Whilst it adds to the look, I don't think they're very practical, and that I doubt they're streamlined. That is true. Same, same with the stuff. Like, I mean, look at those cars. They are thick. <laughs> so, yeah. So it does make you wonder. <laughs> well, th- they might be slowing down unless there's something, and they maybe make him run faster, something like that. And that well, would say strip the costume a little bit more. Maybe go with an actual Kevlar or carbon fiber, a bit more streamlined suit. Mm. Like I reckon, you could probably change the the pipes to be in a, in some sort of different spot, something like that, where it um, makes it more streamlined. The boots and the calf armor is way too big. We have not seen the that calf gear do any help. So either maybe make it a support item that can cool down his legs, like we see him getting shoulder to do a lot, yeah. or or just slim the whole or like slim it all down, make it more streamlined, that sort of thing. See, I actually reckon it does do that to an extent. I reckon it does have some kind of cooling unit. That way it can run longer. That, and if you actually notice his fighting style, he does a lot of kicking. All that armor down mm. there is going to make it hurt. You're right. But I reckon instead he, he could have a more Iron Souls approach. That's true. But where, like, he could also like, be because kicking he's with his shins and... and his knees because there's a high-powered it knee to the gut that's going to take you out i don't True. however i still don't think it needs to be that wide stick it on the car that, could be, that could be because there's a cooling unit in there but we don't we don't know it hasn't been confirmed. We, we don't know. well 
Well, because of the fact that he gets Shosho to cool his legs in his armor, I don't think there is a cooling unit down there. Like, there could be, but it's probably not as as powerful as just getting Shoto to freeze over his calves. That's probably a lot more effective. You're right. Again, we don't All know, right. so mostly practical with minor changes. Next, we have Uraga's. Does she look like a hero? Yes, I'd have to say that she, that costume makes her look like a hero. Now, again, it has really um, big things on her wrists and ankles, but she has mm. the excuses. That's not going to weigh her down. True. While she does have the excuse it doesn't weigh her down, at the same time, it is still in practically kind of annoying. Yeah, so maybe just shrinking the uh, boots and the arm things. Like, he, I know with the second edition of her suit, she does... She has wires that fly out of them, but I'm not sure in this one. Yeah, well, whilst, yeah, in this one, she, we know she doesn't have anything like that. But um, in her second suit, it's completely just about justifiable. Yep. Speaking of second suit, okay. I, I actually like the other design better with the full belt and visor. Yeah, I get what you mean. Like, um, the yeah, loss of the, the visor. The things on her wrist are a lot bigger as well now. Yeah. But again, weight like doesn't the, matter to her. She can just True, make wait. Like, she makes them wait. Well, so she states this yeah. in the show. What's it? Um, with her again, with her quirk, we can throw like the argument of weight and stuff out of the way. Mm. However, I still, I still reckon the visor. Like, actually, like the fact that she lost the visor was actually a, a mistake. I think. I think actually having the visor just helps a bit, considering she can fly around a lot, and that helps with getting debris in your eyes and stuff like that. Yes, the visor is very practical. I'd say. This is top tier example of a hero costume. Yeah, it's up there. Very, I still just reckon like practical, recognizable, and it just looks like it. The costume just looks good as well. Even if I would, prefer, yeah, Even I, if I think the the um that full belt is better than the weird missing buckle that, that she's got there. Yeah, I personally reckon that um once it, they could all um to, like. I personally think they would also like this costume would probably look a lot better if she actually made the the boots a bit thinner, like smaller I and thinner. I don't think but... the boots are, are too large. Like if you look at them, they're not super large. Like yeah, they might be a little bit impractical. Yep. The only gripe is that yeah. it's just cloth and it wouldn't protect you very well. True. True. Hmm. Like, but then again, that that's also going to end up being an argument for a lot of the costumes where, yeah. for the most part, they just use fabric, I, I, so it's not very helpful. I, I, yeah, unless it's like a, a thick fabric, like Kevlar. Yeah. I know Kevlar is expensive. Is Kevlar the, or maybe it's carbon fiber? I forget which one's like the fabric-like one. But yeah, I mean, yeah I know it's expensive, yeah, but they're, they're heroes. They can afford the best gear. Well, and they're going well, to the top school. They're going to the top school. So I was going to say yes and no. Bear in mind, they did have a limited budget. Like um, how Good in season point. three, Midori mentioned the fact he was looking at night vision goggles for his gear, but he couldn't afford. But um, they were way too expensive. Yeah, good point. So it's probably a similar argument that, however, especially when you have someone like Mobo in the class, you can kind of circumvent that entire problem assuming because she can just make stuff. Assuming she knows the molecular structure of it, which would uh, not be hard to do. Yeah, like even if she hard. didn't already know it. She could easily learn it, but anyway. Right. Shoji, I think his name is. Wait. You got that wrong. That is Ojiro. Ojiro. Sorry, Shoji, someone else. Ojiro. Don't worry. I, I have references to all the names if we need. Yeah, um, good. <laughs> good. Visually, it actually looks pretty nice. The costume. It's not bad. It do mm. Visually, it's seem nice. However, I'm not entirely sure that it looks hero enough. Like, he, not many people would be walking around the streets in that... But you could, you know, but yeah, I'd say not quite here enough, but I'd say it's borderline not here, uh, here like enough. It, it, yeah, it still stands out, but like, to be honest, some people could just mistake him for a martial artist. Yeah, it makes sense. But is it practical? Yeah, say so it's very practical, actually. Maybe a little loose fitting like that is clearly um, just yeah. cloth. Like, you can yeah. move around just it easily, before. which is what he does, but... Ain't gonna, ain't gonna protect mm. you. Yeah, I was gonna say because of the way he fights, since he's a martial um, artist type, it one hundred percent makes sense hmm. for his costume to be that way because martial artists wear the baggy clothes for the same reason. It's much easier maneuverability. Yeah. So overall, I reckon I mean, it's that's also um, based like on solid. It. Sorry. 
Yeah, it's solid um, for his quirk and fighting style. Yeah. But yeah. But again, that's also based on tradition stuff. You can get a bit more skin tight stuff, which like uh, sports stars, you see what they're wearing. That could also work quite well. True. However, I think the baggier approach. Actually, yeah, if you're thinking about like the argument of skin type athletic gear, that would probably be better. Yes, yeah, since. Because uh, like, the baggy clothes can be caught on things and stuff like yeah, that. And, and it's easier for um, villains to grab. And that can, that can be the difference between life and death. That's true. That is very true. Next on the list. All right. This is the winter version of the costume. Like, the- winter version, you see him straight up wearing said skin tight gear for thermals. Yeah. And since it's not really much of a change. Or, also, the fur thing goes all the way around his neck this time. If I go back, you can see the fur thing doesn't go all yeah. the way around, and this time it does. I actually yeah, like this which, one better. I agree with you. I think this one looks better. Also, I think it's a little more stand out as a hero. Yes, that's true. But yeah, not really too much to talk about since it didn't honestly it, change all that it's much. It's mostly the same. Yeah. And now we've got a prime example of a bad costume. Come in, Ari. Especially I mean, in his first iteration, yeah, you I cannot tell. No, like, I wouldn't be able to tell if he was a hero or just some guy walking down the street. Yeah, like like the thing on his ear could, like, most people would probably easily mistake him for just being a quirk. Yeah, that is true. Like, right. Yeah. So he's failing he's failing as the hero costume i mean it looks fine and as we know it's not actually practical because this as we learn in the usj he didn't do anything for it to optimize his quirk no it, no it literally does nothing for his quirk at all so I yeah have to give first this one it was zero I, i'm sorry yeah. this is the well, worst costume so far First iteration, absolutely bad, but go to the next one. Second iteration, not much better. <laughs> I I um, can disagree. Yes, he still looks a little more like a casual dude on the street. But ever. It is definitely better, but not by much. Mm. No, I would say active support item makes him stand out a lot more because most people aren't going to be just wearing a support item on the street. That is true, but I mean, he looks like he's about to play Yu-Gi-Oh!, Kinda, yeah, I can't deny that. <laughs> um, so this but one's marginally better. I, Give this a two out of ten. Yeah, this one is a bit better, but not still. by much. More practical though, which which is really yeah. boosting his score is practicality because of his uh yeah, um, because it because of the yeah because of his support yeah. item he can yeah. team his lightning. However, mm-hmm. I still think he should try and learn that as a regular skill. That that too, and I think he definitely needs a better costume. Now, this is another top-tier hero costume. Yeah, honestly, Kirishima's costume is um, solid. Yeah. Like, he completely stands out as a hero. And people who knew the older Crimson Riot would also just recognize, like, would immediately recognize the fact that he's paying homage. Yeah, that is true. Yeah, that, mm. And it's actually really practical. Like, I know we gave people slack for the exposed skin, but... It's, his quirk is literally making is literally making his skin re- hard like a like a rock. Look, so yeah, so he, he doesn't have yeah, to worry sorry. about that. Like it's shown in series that it's strong enough to block a bullet. Yeah, this is the sort of thing that I meant that I meant earlier when I said like endurance types were gonna pro- like uh I'm probably gonna give a pass. Yeah, because. Yeah. I mean, like, it makes sense, especially in Kirishima's case, where it's actually confirmed that the more damage he takes with his hardening, the stronger it gets. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And, like, we can get across weaknesses like that because it has a practical use. Good top tier costume. 9 out of 10. Yeah. Got his winter version. I actually like this one better. I don't know. The sleeves, Fair just, enough. The sleeves just add to it a bit more. I like it better. Yeah, the sleeves do add to it, and since, and again, the whole argument of, like, it's fabric, but the same, but, you know, in his case, completely negates it. Yep, so it um, can be just fabric. Yeah, but it does look a lot, but it does, I agree, it does look a bit better. Mm, by the way, it looks, Good it looks hero Nine enough. and a half out of ten. His, Coda. yeah, Coda, does he look He's like a hero? 
Kind of. Yes. I would. I would just argue yes. Be. But oh wait. Um. Sorry, you know what? Just realized. What? You're using a later iteration of his um suit. I could. I. I searched. This is the only picture I could find of his. His um. Okay. Earliest one. Like, Fair enough. It, it, no, in post, if I can find an earlier one, I'll I'll slap that up next to it. It can't be that different. It's you're right. It isn't that different. The only difference is um the mouthpiece. I see. He doesn't have it initially, but then he later gets it as a support item with uh, because. Ah uh, yeah yeah I remember that. I'll I'll slap that up in post. Yeah. I he know. yeah um, but you know, overall though, like it's. It's I guess visually it's fine. It's, it's, it's fine. Does it look like a hero? Yeah. Good. Is it practical? M more or less. Mm. Again, he's got the I would fabric say, yeah, problem. Because with, like, yeah, fabric problem, especially considering the fact that he's more of a support type where he calls in animals to do um, the hearing for him. That is true. So he, that makes sense. So his is fine. Nothing great, but it's not terrible. Yeah, plus there's not really yeah. anything we can mention for like improvements other than if, unlike Sheen says Quirk, it works for speaker, you would want to use that. Yeah, that is true. Now, but other than that, yeah, this is another top tier hero costume. Yeah, solid all around. Yep, looks like, like hero. Check. Heck, uh, looks good. Check. Practical. More or less. See, mm. it, again, it comes with down to the fabric problem. But again, that could be that could be like have a stronger fabric, which can put. It can protect. It could make. It could be something similar to Gambison, maybe. Yeah, Just actually, although, Just to protect. Actually, I'll argue. This, uh, I'll argue that in re, in Sato's case, it um, works a bit little better because when he because when he actually uses his quirk, um, he bulks up more and as a result stretches the uniform. That is true. So you want a uh, thinner, stretchier stuff. So. Yeah. Which means that most of the the like um, other fabric types and that like the tough fabrics now, don't really work. Yeah, no, that yeah, yeah, that's the stretchier fabric yeah. will work. So another top tier costume, eight out of ten. The only I was gonna say actually, I do have like one appearance gripe, and that's but that's more of like a personal thing where mm -hmm. I reckon instead of the mask going all over his head, right, and letting his hair stick out the back, it should have just been like a um more like visor gloss or like glasses esque instead i see i actually quite like how his hair sticking out the back it adds, mm. it adds to the style yeah it's not a gripe with the fact the hair sticking out the back it's just the way that the mask looks i just don't like it all right next oh yeah that's pretty easy to see all Another right fairly decent uh, one true again it's quirks his arms so it makes sense there's nothing there yeah once again you could just be like you could be a little more protective of your like vital areas and stuff. Yeah, that's but true. I guess he can kind of block himself off with his own quirks. So that that is it's true. Really whatever. And we're, but, we're, we're um, not sure if the mask is a mask or just part of his face. We're actually no, we know it's a mask. However, we don't know why he wears it. <laughs> no, I remember uh, ne Nejere asks him if if it's a mask or just part of his face, and he goes, "I'm the." Uh, uh, Overall, it's not it's not bad. And I believe, speak of him in that, I believe he's next on the list. Nope. No, it's Jiro. Another bottom tier costume. It's probably the worst. I think it's even worse than Kaminari's. Because at least with Kaminari's, right, his like jacket and pants had lightning bolts on them. So it was sort of easier to differentiate. Like, hey, that doesn't look like normal. That looks a little off from normal clothing. Maybe he's a hero for the deal. Yeah. You can kind of make that argument with the uh, Met Denki, but not, not with Jiro. No, not yeah, at all. Not with Jiro, no. F FTM. Yeah, like, for fashion, it, it, it's it, fine. Hero costume, zero. Practicality, it's actually more practical than Denki's first costume because she's got the speakers on her ankles. Yeah, which is actually just the only way that she... Well, it's the main way that she attacks, really, because she attacks yeah. with, so she doesn't actually have to risk her earlobes. Yep, point five out of ten. Yeah. Uh, mm. And we got a second costume, marginally more practical. 
Yeah, all it like appearance, but it doesn't change at all, really. No, except for the speakers on her gloves. All right, next up we got Tape Guy. Honestly, yeah. solid. It's a good looking costume. Sarah, this is yeah. Sarah. Cost yeah, Sarah, wise, yeah. looks really good. Good practicality. I'd have to say it's quite practical. Only right, yeah. maybe, maybe the shoulder pieces might get in the way. Yeah, yeah but I feel like and the shoulder pieces add to the look as well as the fact that like obviously we've seen him doing the maneuverability in his suit and but like the shoulder pieces for the way he moves doesn't hinder him whatsoever. Yeah. Since he's primarily aiming with his elbows. That is true. So uh, and so the and we haven't seen the shoulder pieces get in the way. Also his appearance um very much hints towards what his quirk does, how he yeah. uses tape. Tape, yes. And we've also specifically the, the helmet, helmet like, looks like a tape dispenser. Yeah, like we also know that the helmet is practical because uh, during the Sparrow and Minetaverse midnight fight, hmm. she actually had to open the helmet in order to get to get her gas to work. I would also like to point out that um, I don't know the white parts on the side of the helmet that might block his vision a little bit. Yeah, I think that's true. If anything, I'd widen that to increase the vision. Other than that, yeah, well, so solid costume. Yeah. Nine out of ten. All right, Tokoyami. Tokoyami. It's hard to tell. I have to, argue. I have to argue it's kind of bad. Yeah, since underneath you see it's just got shirt and pants. So you see that in um. Yeah, in the um, what's it called in the season five fights? Yeah. Yeah, but I mean the the cape do does actually have pra practical use. The idea is to create more darkness, so use dark shadows stronger during the day. True, but um, there is my personal grip with it is it's actually not a cape. It looks it's more like cloak. just sort of a yeah, it's more of like a again no, because even cloaks open up. His we does, haven't really his seen does open up though. Really, I, I don't think we've seen it actually open up. We've, we've oh no, you're right. It is a cloak. He states it is a cloak. Yeah. Well, so it's okay. The problem is he's, he's pretty much in, like, I know it's around his quirk, but he entire, he's basically entirely black, like wearing black and he doesn't have anything that sticks out as a hero. It, yeah. Honestly, he looked more like he could, he could actually be some sort of shady dealer or a villain than an actual hero. Yeah, possibly. So I'd say five out of ten. Yeah. Now, uh, Tokyo Tokyo first iteration. For costumes first iteration. Uh, Pretty bad. I mean, it looks, you know, yeah, it looks fine. I understand what he's trying to go with. He's trying to use the ice to cover his fire. Except I'm wondering, yeah. what, is, what is that even material? Because it does actually move. What do you mean, the um ice? Yeah, it does actually move since that's his fire side that the ice is on. I'm pretty sure, yeah, no, I know, but I'm pretty sure that isn't a material. I think it's actually just his ice that he's put on himself. But um, what's it called? He can, he can, like, I think he's just giving it gap or it breaks around a bit because we, we hear, like, ice falling off as he works in that training scene. Oh, that's going to be really heavy. Yeah, it would be, if but again, held, if you've held a block of ice, it's heavy. Out. Yeah, I know. Uh, like, and the thing around his, Honestly, his eye as well. I would fault him. Yeah, I would fault him for practicality, actually. Yeah, practicality is not very practical. He's. Quite limiting in stuff, actually. Yeah. It looks like a hero, sorta. Yeah, it looks like some guys just got ice on half his body. Uh, you can make an argument that he kind of looks like a hero. Yeah, you can. But like, uh, but like, without the ice on him, right? It's just like casual clothes. Yeah. Hmm. I mean, it, you can actually yeah. see the precursors of his second costume in that one. So I'll go to the next one. You can actually see yeah. the precursor to it. Now, this one is much better. It, it is yeah. more practical. Like, the tubes around his belt, he does actually explain this to hold... Uh, I forget what he states it to hold. I'll, I'll play it the quote some, in the... It was some sort of medicine. Uh, you can make the argument that he, mm. does, he, he does look like a hero, but not not really... Like, I understand, it's so arbitrary to say it looks like a hero. But I mean, it looks like yeah. a uniform, so you so I would say, looks like a hero? Yeah, it looks like a uniform for someone you need to, to get help from. True. I reckon he could, like, actually sell the whole half 
half hot, half cold thing more. Like, you could make his hero suit half, like, half of each of those colors to sort of make it stand out oh, more. Yeah, have, like, yeah, like, you could. But, I mean, what he's got now is not bad. True, it's not bad. I I'd wasn't say, saying it was bad. I was saying, like, I'd say you could make it stand out of Yeah. Now, you have probably his best costume. Oh, yeah, from the from World Heroes Mission, yeah. Yeah. I didn't know if the rest of the class had one. I just knew he had one. Um, it, it looks uh, really okay. cool. I, I like so it this a lot. Bakugo and Midoriya do have Heroes Mission costumes. Yes, I assume they were the only three. Since... Yeah, they were. I didn't see any others. Yeah, same. I mean, it's a mm. stealth costume. But... It works solidly for that purpose. Yep. And it just looks badass. <laughs> It does. I reckon it's his be better costume yet. He looks like he's... he's... I, I will say that when it comes to like standing out as a hero, it doesn't work, but at the same time, like it's in that scenario, he's not wanting to stand out. It is a specifically a stealth costume. Yeah. So, yeah. Admittedly, so, out overall, of the three, it's really good. Yeah. Admittedly, out of three, I think his is the weakest of the three costumes. It is, yeah. Alright, next we have Toru. Practicality... I'd say it's quite practical. But hero appearance, absolutely horrible. Yep, hero... But, I mean, she, she does have to sacrifice that for practicality, so I can I can get that, get behind that. Uh, I will say this True. image here is actually... Uh, I meant fan art. Uh, I couldn't find an official image. So this one's a fan art one. But, I mean, it's it's okay. that they it's really just what you see in the show. True, but it's it honestly overall like because of the fact she has to sacrifice stand it's, like she shouldn't stand out anyway from the type of hero that she is. Yes, so that's understandable. Uh, it but, so it, she get to pass on that. I'd say hero costume probably have to say eight out of ten. And then we got her winter yeah. version of the costume. Uh, it's just taller boots, really. Yeah, it doesn't change a whole lot, so I'll there's not really a whole lot to say. I would have said maybe give her a cape to help keep her warm. That way she doesn't yeah, get hypothermia. Actually, yeah. Actually, I reckon that's something that she could do in both summer and winter is instead of having the boots and the gloves, right, she could just have the cape. So that way it's a much easier thing to ditch off when she needs to go completely invisible. Yeah, but she needs the boots to protect her feet, but I guess she also needs the gloves just in case she needs to, she needs to reach out to someone. They can see her hand coming. I guess, yeah. But I, I still don't see a need for the boots, really, other than maybe gripping. Yeah, and I guess... I, I think the gloves are still needed. Okay, yeah. I, I agree with you on the gloves, but I think the boots could go. And you see, uh, it, it's just a simple tug for the gloves to come off. They're not difficult. Yeah, I know. And now, next, we have probably her most practical suit. <laughs> Nice. I mean, True. It, 10 out of 10 for practicality. But then she fails everything else. <laughs> yeah, she, she fails everything else but like practicality. I mean, to be fair, that's where Toru basically scores regardless. Is yeah, on practicality yeah. as opposed to standing out. Yeah. yeah. So that that's part of the thing. That's part of her costume. Like, Yeah, so there's not much you can do about that. So I say... Good costume. This one gets a 9 out of 10. Yeah. Now, Bakugo. It actually looks really good, admittedly. Looks like a hero? Check. Looks good? Check. Now it comes down to practicality. Practicality? The, the wrists, uh, the giant grenades on his wrists are used for launching a far more powerful explosions with yes. zero risk to his own body. I've seen uh, a lot of people say that they're too big. Mm, for the explosions he left off? No, 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 as in the gauntlets themselves are too big. Maybe. Actually, I actually have a bit of thing to d disprove that. Um, so this YouTuber um, goes by Odin Makes. He actually made these gauntlets, like, pre like they're pretty close to scale. Well, I'll play the clip in post, but he states that 
pit. He thought they'd be getting in the way and bumping on everything, but they don't. I actually thought they'd be cumbersome, right? I thought I would bang them on the table or, or on the door jams. No, I'm able to walk around pretty much just fine with these things on. <laughs> I was even able to start and stop the camera while wearing these. That's interesting. Yeah. And also you can see like those mm. look like some heavy duty boots. True. He's got a lot of heavy duty those, gear on him, which makes him And those kneecaps off. That's got to hurt to get hit. Actually, those knee I reckon with the kneecaps and boots, right? They're actually um extremely practical for landing. Yeah. Because bear in mind, he's moving around with freaking explosions. That's it's going to hurt him to land sometimes. Yeah, also you can already see he's got the grenades on his belt as well. Yeah. So Which, initially, I just thought we were all part of like car off the gauntlets, but I'd yeah. I'd say 9 out of 10 for the costume. Yeah. Actually, I will say one gripe with his appearance, sorry. Yeah. In both iterations, anyway, is he looks more like a villain than a hero. Possibly, yeah, but it, we'd be expecting he'd probably be near the top, so. Fair enough. So most people would know, anyway. Yeah, po possibly, anyways. Next, we got his second edition. I actually think this one's better and more practical. True. However, I'd actually make an argument that he could make it even better. Especially because, right. you know, how he says how, what's it, um, it always takes him a while to get started in the winter because he needs to um, work up a sweat. Yeah. Well, you see, even in winter, you can wear thick enough layers to cause yourself to sweat. Yeah, but he also needs uh, movement. True. I'd say, why that, does he just wear this in the like, summer? He would sweat a lot more, meaning he'd be able to do more explosions in the summer. Exactly, but I, I reckon um, he could still make the fabric like a bit thicker without, like thicker and warmer, hmm. without losing any of that mobility. True, we could do that. Most, so overall, so again, still very good. Very good. Now we get to his best costume. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> But the gauntlets even look cooler in this. Let's say, well, why do the gauntlets look so much smaller in this? Because I guess the de the design differently. You can tell. So if I go back to here, you can see the design of the hand grenades. While here they're not. So the hand grenade design okay. just makes them bigger in general. So they're probably l less practical than his regular gauntlets. But it, he's in this. He's trying to be more stealth. Which he does. I mean, our orange kind, all the orange kind of you know, defeats that purpose. But I mean, he looks pretty yes. badass. <laughs> True, he does look good. However, like honestly, this would work. Um, I think honestly, better as his main costume, considering hmm. like the orange on the black stands out. Um, no matter what time of day he's in. Yeah. And it just looks better. The grenades are far more. If if those um gauntlets work, which I'm not entirely sure if they do. You haven't seen the movie. I assume it, they work, otherwise there's no point in wearing well, them. No, I'm I'm going by the fact that I have seen the movie and I don't remember like again, this is I'm just going off memory because it's been a while since I've seen it. Hmm. But I don't remember him firing off with them. Because so if like if those things are practical and they work, that's that's good. That that would honestly be better for him than his other costume. Hmm. Due to bulkiness, but I would like to that, point out. Cool. I would like to point out one, um, thing, one point with his costume. His previous one is the hand grenade. They have a pin that he's required to pull for the explosion. There, it might it seems a little bit impractical. No, it doesn't actually. Like it, it he needs to only get like one like, shot, unless he has to, unless he puts the pin back in. Yeah, no, I'm pretty sure that's. The, I'm pretty sure it is that um, once it, the pin does go back in. Hmm. All right. So uh, this one, obviously, like this one, yeah. very good. Very good. Like he's he's got that tank on the back. Uh, it, what's that used for in the film? Don't know if it even had a purpose. To be fair. It, but that could be like a thing that stores extra sweat since. Hence, the gauntlets don't now don't hold as much. True, that could be the case. I reckon that's something that like could be improvements throughout with his costume is um hmm. like additional sweat, you know, like a uh, waste of story sweat. Since I'm pretty sure like whilst he, whilst he has. The yeah, because whilst 
He can only create the explosions from his hands. I'm pretty sure all of his sweat is the explosive su substance. It is. Yeah, so consequently, you can sweat from any part of his of his body mm -hmm. and use it to um, generate explosions. I mean, I would not want to be kicked by that guy. This looks like some... Those kneecaps look painful. Yeah. All right, so let's move on, then. Moving on, next we have Midoriya's first edition one. It looks trash. <laughs> Like, it looks like bad, but it, hero, it, sort of, it does but stand out as a hero. But it looks doesn't look very good. <laughs> Actually, let's let's be real. It looks like a like a kid playing hero. Yeah, that's more it. And to be honest, this is a yeah. homemade costume, so get that he gets he has that. So yeah, not to, not to mention though, like um, his knee and elbow pieces, they're not they don't seem like they're padding. They seem like they're just fabric. Uh, the knee and elbow pieces. No, I'd actually have to argue that they're, they're probably like um, what skate like skateboarders wear. The knee and elbow. Yeah, that uh, it, it is. It is like elbow and knee pads, but I don't know. It just doesn't seem like they're as good as say Bakugo's knee pads or anything no, like that. No. Yeah. Again, no, it it was a homemade costume, so it probably wasn't too expensive. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Next, we got his mate, his second edition costume. I don't know why you referenced um, his season four one in that, but because he's got fair the hood, because this was the thing he's got the hood, but you don't see it. Like you, you can't. Oh uh, yeah, fair. Just to show he does. Yeah, he I, does did, wear I did the hood. also forget that there was no changes up until um, like midway through season four. Once we got the second iteration, but I'll yeah, say, looks much better. Looks like it does. It? Yes. Yes, like wait, wait, his, wait, wait. Meat, his legs are quite supported. I mean, I would not want to yeah, be wait, kicked. Wait. <laughs> True, but um, something I realized is technically those are two different iterations you're using there because we forgot about Iron Souls. Iron so that, that don't worry. There's another one after this. <laughs> oh, okay, no, no worries. But yeah, like, but essentially, you know, the, the hood, once it gets changed in the second iteration base, hmm. I'm pretty sure it doesn't change throughout, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, this one's kind of practical. Like, again, he has no support on his arms, but he does change that later on. Speaking of about this one, much better support for his arms. I mean, the yeah, ice honestly, sleeves look kind of dumb, but it's more practical. And Yeah, I, I mean, mean, overall... I it, Those looks like some heavy-duty boots. You're going to keep saying that, aren't you? Yeah, um, that and they're spring-loaded. True. I reckon um, something that, might, that would actually help with... Um, Midoriya's firepower, I reckon, hmm. is because because he still does end up punching things. He could have metal um, plating on the knuckles. Oh yeah, have uh, like comes down at brass knuckles, but then he can't really. Yeah, some mating metal plating on the butt on the knuckles. Yeah, that would help. That would that would help with essentially damage since he is um hitting hitting someone with those metal. Yeah. He'd be hitting someone with those metal plates looks much like faster and much harder. I'd say looks like a hero check. Looks good. Check practical. Yeah, it's quite practical, this one. Now we have yeah. his say, fourth um, edition one, which all that's new is the gloves. Yeah, it really is just those wind gloves. Yeah, which allows him like, to shoot. Uh, also, the black whip can fit can come out of those tubes, which was an unintended side effect. Yes, but still ended up helping him a lot. Yeah, I'd say also, for his current costume, 9 out of 10. Yeah, although um, I would say, like, since because of the fact that he basically never wears the hood, I think it would make sense to remove it from the costume. I, I think he will eventually ditch it. I say keep yeah, the face mask most... just in case, you know. Yeah, it, it could work I as the actual face mask... It could work as, yeah, like, I reckon... poison gas. It would work. Yeah, he could, yeah, he could do that since he has come. He, he is aware of the fact that multiple poison gas quirks have come up yes. in recent times. Yeah, yeah, so I'd say if that sense. has a practical use, and this one is a solid nine out of ten. Yeah. All right. Now this one's probably the best looking out of the three stealth ones. Yeah, like one hundred percent. I actually reckon that that would be way. This would be way better as his main. I since he's got everything that it, the other ones have. If there's one problem I have with it, is how thin are his shins? <laughs> Thought he had muscle. Actually, <laughs> Uh, it's a, oh, okay, it's a I'll tell you this right now. Like, I thought he had muscles on his legs. 
I was gonna, I'll, I'll tell you right now, Sai. The um, that is one of mi- um, my heroes, um, like large amount of inconsistencies because we actually do see his legs in quite a few hmm. of his like without the without like um his gear on, right? And they are massive in comparison to what we see here. They must be just really tight socks then. Hmm. No, it's more just actually 100% messed up I mean, on in that regard. Anyways, looks like, like a should hero. Be sicker. Yes, he looks like a hero. Is it practical? It's got everything everything else had, so I'd have to say, yes, it's very practical. Plus, it's good for stealth. I mean, he's got a bigger hood, but again, that's also for stealth, and it actually really adds to the look. So the only thing yeah. with the hoods is they'll block your vision a little bit. But yeah, I mean, that's why I was saying they're, like, easily overall, remove, they're easily taken off, as you can see. Yeah, overall, the hood should be dead. I reckon that in every iteration, really, the I'd hood not, should I'd be. Say it's only for when you're sneaking around. You need to like cover up your skin a little bit. Yeah, but in a yeah, yeah, when but bite breaks like, out, you in, take the hood off. Yeah, like in every other iteration as well. Though I do uh, reckon uh, um, what's it? Uh, the hood the should. Actual be hoods. I thought you were talking about the other three, but no, I thought you were talking about uh. Shoto and Baka goes, but just in the other uh, majority ones, yeah, he should lose the hood, except for the first, yeah, one, except know. for the first one since he was actually wearing that one. True, but again, that one was also homemade. True. Anyway, next we have Mineta. <laughs> All right, so I've included his um season five one here as well, since the only difference is that weird like t-shaped thing on the thing there like i don't even really know what the use of that is i think i do um i think it's you, like have you need to better connect them so we can make like a whip but i mean yeah yeah i was gonna say i was gonna say you remember how he has that whip attack he can do that's what that's for again i'm almost it. yeah but what happens if he needs a new whip does he does he it does that big diaper just have pockets where he just extra ones that he just plops on every time he needs it <laughs> Hell if I know, man. Um, I mean, looks like but, a hero. I'd have to say yes. He does actually look like a hero. The my main gripe um, is the diaper. Yep, one hundred percent. So bad. <laughs> but I mean, he me. looks like have a hero. That... I'd say that. Yeah. I'd say have it's you quite seen practical. that fan art? What's it Have you seen that fan art of Mineta where he's actually like bigger and really jacked, and but he still has the diaper? <laughs> I ha- I have not actually. I- yeah, it's it's usually used when like people are re- are like making jokes about how Mineta is actually the strongest character in the entire show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. Next, all right, we have Momo. On. As much as okay. I don't like it, I'd actually have to say it's quite it is quite practical. It's, it's, oh yeah, it is. She needs the, tr- the exposed skin. Yeah, I would say as well though. On what's it? She could. Um, I would say she could stand to gain from like the whole armoring thing, but the problem is like she can just she, she often wrecks her um her costume in order to um to generate the in order to like generate things. Yeah. So as a result, that though that sort of gear would just get also in the that, way. that tiny little skirt that looks like it's made of belts. My uh, that doesn't look like it's holding on very well. That and you can't see no. it this, but she's got a book attached to her lower back. I assume that's just got like things she needs to look up for the stuff she did for like the because I believe it she um, needs to know the gene- the like molecular structure of the item she's making. Yes. Also, I will tell you that is one hundred percent the case. We see that in the hero licensing exam. Now, does she look like a hero? Sorta. <sighs> mm. Again, there's not much you can. Do. I'd say more so than not. If she was at I, a beach, I would say no. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll agree with you there. <laughs> Alright. Next, you got her winter version. I actually quite like the cape. The cape looks nice. Yeah, I think the cape adds to it and actually makes her look more hero-like. Yeah, but I mean, it's just for a winter thing to help keep her warm. Which is what we were referencing yeah, we- when we were talking about Toru. Yeah, which, I mean, to be fair, like she could also do that in the summer just to cover up more, but yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Ah, oh, that, that, that's it. That's the last one. <laughs> What's that? Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, about she's that. the last one in the season. Yeah, no, Shinzo is not in uh, this because... Oh, it's going to have him in the miscellaneous hero group. 
for all the other miscellaneous oh, okay. students, which are specifically in one A or one B. I'd also say with Shinto, we'll wait until we actually see him get a full hero costume. That is true, since again we didn't count Midoriya. Oh, we just see him in a pink uniform with a bit of support gear. All right, so well, all right, so what do we have to say? Is... Overall, not too bad. There are certainly some people that need to improve. <coughs> Jiro. Um, <laughs> yeah, Jiro. But other than that, I'd say most of them are like you know are quite. It's practical. fine. Most of them are, yeah, fine. Like, of course, we have some of the really good ones. Like, eek, any of the stealth ones are quite good. Good, and Uraraka's yeah. and Sugar Man's. They're, and basically, all of Bakugo's are quite. All of Bakugo's, Sugar Man's, uh, uh, Uraraka. Most of them, that, those are the top tier ones, I'd have to say. Yeah. And, and we've gone through which ones we think are the worst. Mm. And yeah, that's the entirety of Class A. Alright, thanks for watching, guys. Yep, alright. Each will have another one out, I don't know, next year, maybe. Who knows, yeah. Maybe next right. month, we'll all see. Right. Ciao.